Okay, so here's the first part then. A D chord, we're going fourth string, third string, top string, back to the second, off the top, and back on the top. That's the first part, it sounds like this. Here's the second part, very similar but easier. Fourth, third, top, off the top, back to the second. So that goes fourth, third, top, off the top, back to the second. Sounds like this. So there's the first part and second part together. There's the first part, second part. Right. The next part has got the G, um, you're playing it with your thumb. Um, bottom string, third string, and then this top, off the top, and back to the second. So, it doesn't matter if you catch the fourth string instead of the third, sounds like this. They're both playable, it doesn't matter. The A7 you know quite well is like this. Oops, there it is. So I'm going to play it as far as the E7 chord and we'll stop and do that slowly. Here we are as far as the E7. Quite slowly. A7. Second line of the song. Exactly the same, exactly the same. No differences anywhere. Just once on an A7. Third line of the song. First part, second part. G is exactly the same again. Now the E7, this is where you want one finger on the first fret of the third string and you're gonna play this. Bottom, third, top, back onto the second fret of the second string and then top again, so. And if I put that last line in, um, You then simply play the second part of the D movement again, which is this, which you've been playing all the way through. Here comes the run. This is the bit that we were focusing on this morning. Your third finger must be on the fourth fret of the second, uh, third string, and your second finger on the third fret of the second string. Those two fingers have to be written in stone. If you haven't got the right fingers, the riff won't work. So it must be those fingers. It goes like this. Swap to your first finger, take your first finger off, put it back, and play it again. So, yeah, third finger, first finger, off and back, and then the final run, which is all on the second string, three, two, zero, two, three. If I put that all together, Okay, you're finished now, you just play the D chord for the rest of that bar and then you play your A7 again. Okay? Mm -hmm. There he is then. And you switch it off. Yeah, just press your red button again.